Hi, I'm Jonathan Clancy. I'm Director of Collections and Preservation at the Stickley Museum at Craftsman Farms. We're standing here in the living room of the log house, and it's one of the first spaces you come into when you take a tour of the log house. Behind me is the grand staircase here with this beautiful S carved into it, designed by Eloise Rohrbach, who was an artist who worked for Stickley and designed many covers of the Craftsman magazine. And this is a massive space. It's over 50 feet long. And you have to think about it in the context that Stickley did, that this log house was gonna form the core of a school, a sort of central gathering place. Now he wound up moving his family in uh, and never built the house that he designed for them. Instead, they chose to live here. But the proportions of it are really designed for public space and public gathering. I'm standing in front of this amazing example of an early piece of Stickley furniture. It's a number 550 desk. It was built probably late 1902, 1903. And what's remarkably special about it is that Stickley owned this desk. It descended in the Farney family. The Farneys were the family who purchased Craftsman Farms after Stickley sold it in 1917 and was purchased directly from them. Unlike earlier versions of this desk or, or similar models, this doesn't have the heavy key tenons on the side and projections. It's much sleeker. It doesn't have any drawer pulls that come out. Instead, the mechanisms are all internal. So when we pull down this front of the drop fall front desk, we see it's held in place really just with these beautiful little poles here. You have spaces for letters and papers, and then you even have a small locked drawer here for valuables if you want it. The austerity of the desk is somewhat relieved by these gentle little curves in here and the curves of the dividers that help separate your papers and, and other business things you might be using. It's an eminently useful form as well. And so in addition to this writing surface, which you can put up or put down, it's got drawers for storage in it. And again, these are great examples of early stickly furniture. So you can tell these are early because of these patterns here. This is all quarter sawn oak. This was at a time when this wood was much more affordable than it would be later in Stickley's career, and he used it extensively, even for drawer backs and for bottoms of drawers, really everywhere in his furniture. Like many of his pieces, these are stamped as well, and so you'll see here is a number five. And the number five corresponds to the five that is similarly impressed here in the desk. And that allows you to really custom fit all of these pieces and make sure that you have the best fit possible for your drawer. There's a much larger central drawer under here. And then these wonderful little cabinets that open with these ring poles. And you can see that it's really incredibly crafted, right? So we have these boards that are joined together here, attached in the back making use of these little pyramid-shaped screws that Stickley, in fact, patented. And it's cleverly got a little ball catch in here to help keep uh, these doors closed without any sort of excessive mechanism or any busyness on the front of it. Uh, it's a wonderful example of Stickley's uh, early furniture. And it's just incredible that we have, through generous donors like you and supporters like you, the ability to return the furniture that was originally here to his home. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon.